I created this game inside Flutter and Flame. Is it the best game in the market? The answer is no. But is it fun and interesting to play? Yes, of course. The idea is to create a 2D game which is fun and playable and at the same time it generates revenue for you. So let me tell you my story of game development. It all started in the month of March, I guess, when I saw the Flutter Dev Challenge. The Global Gamer Challenge. In this eight-week challenge, Global Citizen is partnering with the Flutter community to design, build, and publish sustainable games. And I thought, it's interesting and it's rewarding as well. If you submit the game and it is being selected, you will get so much award and you will get to meet in person. And there were so many perks out there. So I thought, okay, let's go ahead. I have been waiting to explore Flame Game Engine. I've been waiting to write my own game. That, that's very important. I wanted to create something, you know, fun and interesting for me to play, for my kid to play. So I thought this is a good time that we have a challenge in the place. And I started watching YouTube videos. But at that time, there was lack of Flame Game engine videos and this video in particular really helped me the series really explains the game concept it explains everything in detail so following the tutorial i try to implement my own game now, of course it doesn't look like a full professional game but yeah uh, I created a character which can, you know, walk in X and Y direction. It can go to some spawn areas and it can plant a tree. And then there's an opponent which is uh, on a mission to cut all the trees, right? So the idea was to create a game which, uh, you know, educates a person about the environment. So while you are playing a game, uh, you're being educated about the environmental issues and all those things. So I tried to bring those concepts like... Uh, planting a tree and people are cutting trees and deforestation all those things I, uh, I wanted to bring in the game so to be honest i'm not a game developer or level designer so i was not able to achieve that uh, you know like a crispy game kind of feel where you are playing and you are on a mission so i dropped the idea of submitting this game to the game dev challenge but what triggered me is how simply you can write animations and collision detection and effects inside flutter game really amazed me and i thought let's go ahead and create a new game now again i came to the same point that what should i create like i was not having any idea playful story or some environmental things like how should i proceed and then after visiting again on youtube and finding more videos i came across this video where i saw a person is playing a parallax background and he has a bird animation so i thought let's give it a try why not so i started vs code created a new flutter project and began the journey of game development I wanted to keep it very simple. I don't want to add any platform or gravity where the character is falling on a ground. I don't want to implement those concepts at the beginning. So I adopted this idea that the bird is continuously flying. The opponent's coming, bird can move up and down with the help of arrow keys. And of course, bird can shoot also when you press spacebar. So it's a simple game, simple concept. I started with the background first and created a parallax component, which accepts multiple images. And when you provide the base velocity and multiplier velocity, it adds the parallax effect. So the game was already started looking nice because you have nice moving uh, image, which is kind of a half game. And then I added in a bird sprite, which is called player. Now, to be very honest with you, initially it took me some time to figure out how does a sprite work how does a sprite animation work how we can have grouped animation and how we can change all those states youtube videos really help me to understand that and even flame documentation is very detailed so you can go ahead and check the details out there it will really help you understand the basic concepts with example perfect so we have the player in the game now it's time to add some opponents because what is the meaning of just flying endlessly right so to create a sense of like uh, in an old village, some, you know, futuristic drones and helicopters came in and they're just shooting all over the places and they're destroying the village, right? So that concept I wanted to bring inside the game. So uh, I added the drone image, right? I found it on the internet and just, you know, tweaked it a little bit so that it looks like it's flying, it's activated, you know, some kind of a red beep dot, something like that. And I kept the starting point of the drone on the right side so it will be flying from right to left and the bird is flying from left to right so now the drone is flying from the right hand side of the screen and moving on x-axis by 100 pixel every single tick and once it reaches on the left hand side of the screen it will just disappear and even you can write a logic that uh, if the drone fly by then it will hit the bird or it will you know decrease the point of the life of the bird because this drone is in the village and it will of course make some damage right 
all right now that the game is taking shape i can add some movement to the bird player and for that i added a keyboard listener and whenever user press up and down arrow the bird will have uh, movement on y axis it's it's pretty simple uh, logic you just have to increase or decrease the y component of the position and here you have the bird moving and same thing for shooting when you press space bar it will add a new sprite at the same position where bird mouth is there and it will move on the uh, on the right hand side of the screen by incrementing x axis so at this point i really liked how the game development works how you can add components how you can add sprites how you can animate them how you can add behavior and effects to the game and that really makes me to start my new game development journey now, once I finished this simple prototype game, I thought, let's create something meaningful. Let's create, you know, even a better game. So one fine day when I was scrolling through YouTube videos, I came across this video where in particular, this guy was telling that he created the same game in eight different engines. It really amazed me. I wanted to see how he went through all those different softwares and how he created. I wanted to understand his journey. Now, it may look simple from outside that he created a game in Unity. He created a game in Unreal Engine, Godot and so many different platforms. But the effort it takes is really enormous. You have to learn C Sharp. You have to learn C++ language. You have to learn GD script and different script for different game engines. And at that point, I realized how simple it is inside Flame Engine that with the same Dart language, with the same Flutter concepts, you can write uh, so many simple games with the help of sprites, with the help of Rive animation, and even you can bring Physics Engine inside your game with the help of Forge 2D. So to summarize, my journey in the game development started and I started learning different concepts. I started learning how to create sprites. I started learning the mathematics involved in moving the X and Y axis and velocity, gravity, all those things. And if you want to learn the basics of game development with Flutter and Flame, you can head over to codexdev.net and simply get this free PDF where I've explained the basic concepts of game development and Flame. I hope you are excited for your new game development journey. So I am. Make sure to subscribe to the channel Codex and hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one.